Imperial Valley leaders hope this is the future. The valley has vast potential to generate solar, geothermal, wind, and biomass energy, and with it, thousands of jobs for the region's needy residents. The current unemployment rate here is 32 percent, higher than anywhere else in the country. But jobs are on the horizon. Several dozen renewable energy projects are planned for the valley, and construction has already begun on a few of them. These two men are in their first year of a five-year electrical apprenticeship. It's one of the few local training programs designed to prepare workers for skilled, well-paying jobs in the area's budding renewable energies industry. This is the most high-paying job I've had. And I've been working since I was 18, and I'm 24 now. So yeah, this is, this is definitely going to be a career. Besides getting paid for their apprenticeships, students take classes at this training center. It opened in 2009 and is a joint project of the Electrical Workers Union, IBEW, and the National Independent Contractors Association. Uh, throughout the apprenticeship, basically what you do, you come in two nights a week um, during the night. Uh, one night is um, theory, and the other night will be lab. Danny Machane is an organizer for the Electrical Workers Union. He recruits for the apprenticeship program among local high schools and colleges. The first class of apprentices graduated from the center this past June. But there were only three of them, and only one found work in Imperial Valley. Machane says the training program actually stopped accepting new apprentices during half of 2009 and all of 2010, because there simply weren't enough jobs to train them on. We wanted to bring some more people in, but again, we have a commitment to the industry, which is our partners and um, to in the state of California that we need to train them on the job for at least so many hours. Without that training, I can provide them um, five years of school, but again, without that, they don't graduate. But things are looking up. This fall's incoming class of apprentices is the largest yet, 15 people. Current apprentices finishing up the program are hopeful about their job prospects. Ramon Castro is in his final semester of the apprenticeship. He currently works at the water treatment plant in Brawley. It's starting to pick up. I mean, when I first came in, we had some work, right? We had all the schools and, and whatnot, but it was always iffy if we were going to get onto another project. And it was kind of concerned, you know, considering, you know, we going on unemployment and taking breaks and we want to keep working. Um, and now, I mean, it's just seeing these guys are getting picked up. And, and although I've been on the same job for about 17 months now, I mean, I know there's work for me as soon as I get out. And, and, and it's main, mainly the, the big rush out here to catch, you know, the solar power. And I know that I'm going to be employed. I mean, not, not for sure, not 100 percent, but I'm, I feel confident. I feel good. The apprenticeship program hasn't been easy, Castro says. But he hopes his fellow Imperial Valley residents will make sacrifices, like he has, to prepare for the jobs of the future. I want us to be prepared for when the work comes here. And if, if it does, and, and it will, um, I want us to have the labor force, the skilled labor, to take on these jobs so that the work uh, goes to us, to the locals, to we need it bad. So, and not to, you know, so that we don't have to import labor from any other state or county. As far as I'm concerned, we have all the manpower. We just need to be ready for it.